G morning YouTube, it's your boy G Sock Angel here, and today we got something special for you. Me and a few buddies get together and talk about the first episode of the brand new Halo TV series that just dropped on Paramount Plus. We get a little ranty, we get a little rambly, but it's just because we love Halo. Links in the description below to my channel on Twitch, a like on the video be much appreciated. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this and a comment down below to tell us how we don't know shit and our opinion doesn't matter. Thank you for stopping by and I hope you enjoy. All right, first off, we can all agree that the show was shit, right? No. No? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you go back and look at it again, there's a lot of mm -hmm. like shitty things they did. Like there's a scene where someone picks up a plasma pistol and then tosses it. And it shows, like, the detail of the plasma pistol when it's on the ground and the character's picking it up. But then if you look at the scene where they're tossing the pistol, like, after they use it, it's just a wooden cutout. There's no paint. There's no nothing. Yeah, the CGI was Shit. absolutely terrible. Awful. Yeah. The... <sighs> All right, so first off, the show... Are y'all going to be the same way with Obi-Wan? Like when I drops? don't care about, about Star Trek. I don't think they could... Star Wars is a really good... Patio pacing and stuff. I don't think they could fuck that up. Be real. Oh, they could fuck that up. Yeah, but they haven't really. And all all the Star Wars stuff that's come out has really been fucked up, like Halo was. So you think it's okay? I... They could just always go out and like they're never loyal to any fan base. Resident Evil is the same way. They're never loyal to any fan base. They always the just like well, let's make a different timeline, so that gives us an excuse. To, so, to fuck it all look up. Look at Witcher. Witcher doesn't follow anything. I don't know shit and about Witcher. There's a lot of criticism as well, though. Absolutely. But, but the thing is, they've gotten better. The armor and stuff was not uh, what was described in the games or the books. But they said that they were going off the books. This isn't even, uh, or it's in, the Witcher is inspired by the books. The Halo is just, they're, I, we want to do our own thing to it. Okay, uh, real quick. Am I the only one who thought when Captain Keys walked in, was I the only one that thought, oh shit, Sergeant Johnson? Yeah. Oh no, 100%. I thought that was Johnson. Yeah, like, I, I did too. Sergeant Johnson. Yeah, I'm not going to lie about that. That dude, look okay. it. When I heard Jacob, when I heard uh, Commander but do we Keys, really I was like, what? That, can we really think it's okay? First episode of the series, Bash Chief has his helmet off. For extended periods of the time, like is that really? Okay? And takes his helmet off, like, like with the chick pointing for the no gun reason. at his head. Like Chief would never, yeah. ever, ever fucking do that, ever. And you, you made you made a thing a reference to The Witcher, right? At least the dude who played uh, the main guy or whatever. I'm sorry, I don't really know Witcher that well at all, but I do know the dude went and played the games, read the books. Like he did his research to nail that character. Yes. He's a video game fanatic, apparently. Yeah. Oh yeah, Henry Cavill. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's he's definitely a, a huge PC. Like he's built his own PCs and done all that. I'm, yeah. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fight that. Yeah. What I'm saying is, there's nothing wrong with them wanting to have a split timeline, a silver timeline. Why? Why do that? The game. Bro. Why, look though? at Marvel. Yeah. Marvel's done the same thing. The, uh, well, the MCU, I don't care. I don't things. know shit really about comics. Well, you look at people who well, know. We're talking about the Halo look fan base. Because if you not a comic look at, fan base. Look at the Marvel fan base. Look yeah, at, but that's but not a video game fan base, fan. though. That's not a video game fan base. That's a comic fan base. And, and the people who really every know their comics. Every franchise that's been put into a movie has failed besides Arcane. Arcane's the only successful one. And that they, is listen, uh, they, very... you know, you went, you went with, if, you know, I get that if they want to go, um, there's no way, man. I'm just saying there's no, you want to talk about that Marvel thing real quick. Like, uh, if you ask like a hardcore, like know-it-all comic collecting person, I guarantee they had a, their slew of problems with the whole Marvel's thing. Mm -hmm. But that was high production, though. All that was Marvel extremely movies, high production. Every Marvel movie and most shows. Okay, you're talking a movie. High you're not production. talking about a show. You're talking and about show a movie. so. Most shows are high production, too. But, I mean, dude, they half-assed Halo. That, that no. production quality was 
I awful. think you're being too harsh. I think How is that too hard? The CGI no, hey, was shit. Look at the the CGI movement was awful. The fucking Ford Dude, onto the, Don the, was the way game, better. Game cinematics blow anything that show has done out of the water, no question. They, I mean, I could send you these like little thirty second clips of these things that are being called out on that CGI if you want. But, That's like, fine, man. You you can call out anything, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's something. It's because it's not following the the, the main storyline is what everybody's so butthurt about. No, that's oh, not what 100%. I'm about. I'm but I I'm upset about that. Absolutely, I wish it was a a, a true or a good storyline. I'm sure this storyline may be good, but I'm t I'm I hate the quality. The quality is trash. It's a B You're... a B TV show quality. Sharknado Baby had better C CGI. Yeah. And it's like, okay, it takes place Shark before, like, the fall of Reach and everything, which is completely cool. I don't have a problem with that. I like that they brought in the insurrectionist. That was really cool, because that's a huge part. Um, you, but, and but when even, did all Covenant become elites? Well, you know, they could Why bring in jackals and stuff like that faction? later, you know? I'm Why not even... To, I mean, would you send... You, I want to see grunts. Right, okay, and it's only the first episode. episode. Yeah, I, I yeah, episode. but second You're episode, if they've season. already said there's no action in the second episode, there's no fighting in the second one. It's all, you know, trying to get to figure out this dude's humanity. Which, again, I think that's cool. Like, I'm okay with, you know, the Master Chief aspect, but I think Master Chief's voice is, is not on point, and I think that's something you have to get rid that of. That was fucking voice. terrible. You know, and they could have easily solved that problem by... Not doing a helmet, a uh, face reveal, and then just having a voiceover for him. But he talks too much. Uh, and, and then you, and then even look at the uh, end the combat scene, which is what everyone's saying. Yeah, that scene was the best, right? Look at that scene. Look at the visors. Uh, the little mini map in the visor doesn't show anything. There's no. It looked like shit. Map. They shouldn't just cut that out. Anyway, so it takes place in, in the opening. I like that they were bloody. I don't mind that they were just elites because uh, a, a lot has probably happened that the games don't talk about, right? Which is cool. But the fact is that you switch things up. Like, you're, you're switching too many things up. You can tell stories that, like, happened in between. Like, I don't even care that Chief was running with Silver Team because I'm sure Chief did a lot of different shit. Actually, like, yeah. that doesn't bother me I at all. That yeah, I'm not I'm not pissed about the the overall timeline of it like that. Uh, I wish it would have been something a bit that we kind of as the fans could appreciate because at the end of the day, the people that are going to be watching the show and getting people to watch the show are the fans and mainly the fans of the gaming series. Like that's where the 20 plus years of its success is coming from, and then they just want to say, yeah, let's fuck all of that no nonsense. And do it our own way. Yeah. And again, I'm okay with the storyline if it's going to be a good storyline, which it may be a good storyline. But you cannot sit here and tell me that the CGI in that first action sequence was top notch, like what you were expecting. Like, I know that we could be fans and, and excited for the show because, I mean, how long has it been since we've gotten anything? Everyone's been dying for a Halo series, right? But the quality, I mean, give that shit to, to uh, HBO. You know, look what they did with the quality of Game of Thrones. Or give it to Amazon. I mean, they did good quality with uh, Expanse, in my opinion. But Halo, like, a foundation that is, like, amazing, everyone loves and knows about. And you're going to give it that shit? Like, half-ass stuff. Yeah, it's couldn't even pay the dude the money. rights for the music. Like, come on, how are you going to fuck yeah. up, like, the most iconic music in gaming? I don't give a shit. You know, it's Halo. It was only Xbox. I don't care. I don't think PlayStation or exclusive well, PC stuff it. have, you know, that iconic of music. They they didn't approach him at all. That that's was Martin a, O'Donnell? That's, because they split yeah, the, ways. Martin O'Donnell is like has nothing to do with Halo whatsoever. But he and that was years that, ago. He, it's, it, that was years that music, ago. That's why he's suing them. Right. They, they could the still thing. work that's with him to get the music Kano's rights. Go after them. The music rights. They needed to get that from him. They used it as promotional material, and then they got a lawsuit from him because they didn't give him royalties on it. He was supposed to get royalties if they use it. That's why you will never hear that music in the TV show, 
because uh, that sparked the lawsuit. The lawsuit was going to delay the uh, show. Yeah, that that was a huge a huge flop. But um, okay, so as we're going through the show, and then um, uh, the elite to me honestly looked super fucking garbage. I thought they were brutes at first. Dude, when they're first walking in, I was like, holy shit, these are like some brute looking dudes. They look so fucking terrible. It looked like you took Halo 1 from the original Xbox and you took that armor the way it looks and you stuck it on them. Like it the the elites themselves look like shit in my opinion. So okay, so what I'm what I'm gathering out of all this, the biggest gripes are the graphics. Not the story. No, the story is fucking. We haven't. Did. I haven't got there yet. I'm not, just not doing. I'm just trying to face. start from the it's beginning the of the show and then no, work the way. Th go through the it. Best Fifteen minutes. We have we argued to work graphics. from beginning to the end. Yeah, we'll get we, to the story. That's why I'm saying okay, we'll so get. We'll get graphics. to the story we because can go from graphics to something else. Because at the end of the day, you're not going to change the graphics from episode. No, we talked about the music as well. Okay, music. The, the the CGI uh, was complete. I'm trying to stay on track. I'm not trying to be all over the place. That's why I'm trying to oh, like start from the beginning okay. and work through the show because I have plenty of fucking issues later on. Plus, we already mentioned that Chief taking off his helmet has nothing to do with graphics. That's a story plot, Chief, and that's fucking. Chief, Chief showed his Chief showed his face at the end of, of uh, Halo Four. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. Play no, the didn't. legendary ending. Yes, he did. Play legendary the legendary ending. ending. The average fan. And even then, okay. right, I get you that. Right. He showed his face. He showed his face. Watch it on, once. On, on YouTube. No, I it's get a, it. I get it. He showed his clip. face once. I want to. I want to tackle this. He showed his face once. Yeah. At Halo Four. That's one mini Halos deep. All right. Yeah. That's, that's deep into the franchise. Once, and it's in a special type of ending. It's not something that the average player was going to get to. I'm a big fan of the Halo series. I played it ever since Halo One came out. Oh, absolutely. OG, right? And yeah, they've always OG. teased it. They've always teased his face reveal. And every cinematic besides that one you're talking about, which I actually haven't even seen, and I consider myself a pretty decent fan of the series. And you're telling me that Paramount has the right, the audacity, for the very first live-action so, version of Halo, of Master Chief, first episode, to do a face reveal like that? Bro, not even Mandalorian did a face reveal that quick, or that often. There was no build-up. There's no buildup. It's for trust of this girl that we don't even really care about yet. Who's never been That's in the lore, I'm but pissed. yeah. I'm like, they just, because, and then they have him like flying the, the ship and doing some more shit without his helmet on. Like, bro, Master Chief is supposed to keep that shit on. He's supposed to be one liners. You know, he's not supposed to be getting all crazy with his dialogue. He's got to have a deep voice. You know, it has to be an iconic voice. Even if they couldn't do. Get the guy who did the OG voicing. I mean, they should have known. I mean, you cannot sit here and tell me that Master Chief's voice is not a big thing. Or the fact that he hides behind his helmet. 99% of the gameplay of everything anyone has ever seen in Halo, 99.9% .9 of that, he's hot behind a helmet. And you're defending the fact that in Episode 1, a subpar Master Chief... With a gun right pointed now, out. And I can tell you why they did it. The only reason, and look at what else Paramount has on on that uh, their, their service. Nothing. It's mm -hmm. like Star Star Trek shit, right? Nothing good. Uh, There's literally no got... other reason to get Paramount yeah, Plus besides Halo. No, no, you know, um, what is it? Um, Yellowstone, 1883. So all those other shows. So yeah, no, those, there are those are trash to be. Anyways, oh, no, those are really. Good I'm shows. sorry, they are. Uh, okay, that's that's that, that, that's all personal that's opinion for the, the point, yeah. Besides the point, but anyways, they the only reason they did it is so that they could really stamp in uh, this guy as Master Chief. That's the only reason they did it, because by doing a face reveal that early, now everyone who watched that first episode, which is going to be most Halo fans, now you have to associate that guy with Master Chief. It's the very first time most. Most fans, not all fans, but it's the very first time that they had him just – the helmet doesn't mean anything. Plus, I Spartans are always – They would have done it in the games. Spartans always keep their helmet on. If you look at, you know, the lore of stuff, it's, it's one with them. Like, their suit doesn't completely work without having their helmet on. I just so, – I disagree that with there. that part. There's no convincing me that because 
they there's one scene in a legendary edition of the game, you know, that because that one scene does not justify how quickly uh with no you know build up or anything. And that and the fact that they did it this early in episode one means they're gonna do it all over the place and the rest of the season. So that's a huge gripe of mine. And the storyline if if Master Chief uh if they if they did a better job of staffing Master Chief uh and really getting that character down right, because they could have easily Bypass the voice thing, which in my opinion is very weak. His voice acting is not good for the Master Chief that we know. Um, if they could have at least done that right, I think it could have held the show together. But because that is a bleeding edge, now you have the graphics are a big focus, which are going to be important anyways because it's it's Halo. Like you have CGI in the game from the Halo Four, even Halo Three cutscenes look way better than what we were we got in that first combat scene. And there's a lot of movement that doesn't make any sense. There's moments where he's floaty, and there's moments where he's really weighty. And he like suction cups to the ground the second he jumps. <laughs> and then there's the and then there's inconsistencies in the combat. Like the the three elites coming through the front gate and the guy in the back of the truck with the guy. I agree with gun that on. I'll agree with that. Lights them up. Yeah, I'll agree I mean, with you on that. there's no way I'll not to agree, with, agree with that one, right? No, he lights no. him up for like a solid minute, and then Master Chief gets the thing, and it's almost three insta kills. I mean, yeah. triple kill. What's the deal with that? You know, so that shows that these people have no idea what they're doing in Halo. They only did this, and low budget too. They said this is a uh, 90, 90 mil to two hundred mil was put on this because if you look at it now, it says two hundred mil was put for this. And the seed and and the combat scenes are what's going to make that expensive, and that's the expensive combat scenes we get. Sorry, that the combat scenes trash. It was cool because it's Halo, but I could show you YouTube's guys that created better stuff than than what we got. Forward onto Don had better action. Yeah, well, I mean, no actual YouTubers that were creating pilots uh, and like put big money into like the costumes and stuff. Where they only have like a minute or two minutes of footage, looks way better than the combat scene we got, and I want to like it because it's Halo. I've been waiting forever for Halo, but and now I'm afraid that I'm not gonna get a good Halo in my lifetime. That's how I truly feel because yeah. this is not gonna be a good one. I and it's okay. I think it's okay for people that um, like there's two groups here, right? Super, super maybe diehard fans have seen every at little bit of Halo. Uh, and they're okay with the quality that we got, and they're okay with a slightly different Master Chief, uh, and, or people that know absolutely nothing about Halo, and they're able to go in, and they're okay with like low-budget graphics. Those are the only two uh, crowds that I think are going to enjoy it. But I still think like the average to maybe slightly beyond average fans are, are not going to like it. I've heard more negative than I heard positive. Yeah. I'm just keeping an open mind, man. At the end of the day, I'm just going to sit and enjoy the ride. I mean, I don't think I'm going to be too damn... Because I'm an OG fucking fan just like anybody else. I mean, I've been since the original Xbox planted at my buddy's house. I, yeah, I've been. I've read books. I've done, you know, lore, everything like that, man. But, um, you know, just I'm going to sit back and enjoy the ride, man. Well, yeah, absolutely. I'm still going to watch it. Don't get me wrong. Get, you know, but I'm not going to sit right? there with a pen it, and but... paper and just be like, okay, scene five, line three didn't sound good. Or the, well, this, you know, it's like, it's not that's just what I'm one saying. I'm not saying there, you, though, I'm not saying you're it. doing that. I'm saying there are people that are doing that and that's what they want to do. And that's fine. Okay. I mean, but at the end of the day, I'm going to sit back and enjoy it. How can you I enjoy it? Like, okay, or you want to talk about lore, right? Like, I'm perfectly what, fine with what they what they did with splitting the timeline. I'm perfectly fine with it. That's just me. I'm not saying go back and play the games if you want that timeline, but I'm just fine with that shit, man. And that's that's I don't know. I like I said, everybody, you know, you're entitled to your own opinion and stuff. But like that shit is fucking stupid when it comes to. Uh, they switched up Miranda Keys. Like she's now a scientist. Okay, that was never a thing. And okay. then, 
uh, I know you're just you're, you're, you don't really give a shit about my gripes or whatever, but then no. the the covenant captured a human. They're not even going to show the oh, like if you're going to bring that in, right? Which is absolutely fucking stupid, right? It's never been in the lore. Oh, it's an alternate timeline, so we can do whatever. Then at least show the whole backstory of it. You can't just like. Uh, oh, you hear it. the Covenant are now being led and mm -hmm. learning about the humans through this random girl. What? The fuck? Where Colin did that even him. come from? Who's to say they don't explore that next episode, two episodes from the Dude, if they do, they then they're going to leave characters. out so much if they only they, have no, two series. They seri introduce characters. All they're doing is introducing characters. That have nothing to do episode. with it. I don't know. I like they're veering way too far off to call this Halo. Like, I, in my opinion, it should have been called something else. Like, I think it's absolutely stupid that you can you can totally just butcher all of the lore. There's so many different things that could have been touched upon that they could have tackled that the games never tackled or the books never tackled instead of remaking everything. Okay, let me get rid of him real quick. Make this invite only. Yeah, they could have totally tackled way like the the um the forerunner war. Like they could have done so much more, but no, they're just here's this and we're totally gonna fuck everything up. They totally just mix match everything. And I guarantee that they make this well, whatever that one chick's uh, little girl's name that was out looking for drugs with her friends, they're gonna probably make her the main uh protagonist and Chief's gonna get sidelined. I, I just feel like it's gonna happen. And will they show the flood? Probably not. They're probably going to come up with some other bullshit instead of the flood. It was. I think I, it was just. Yeah, all, I hope we get flood, well, but well, the I flood didn't show up until the flood's been around for a long called. fucking time. No, no, I'm talking about. But I'm talking about if we're talking, you know, about time like you did now, turtle. Yeah. Oh no, you're right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. You can't do well, that times now. Are different. Timelines are different. No, times are different. No, timelines are different. But again, we're basing all this off of one episode as far as introducing Then they fucked it up. A character. Sorry. And uh, I, I know we're going off of just the first episode, which you should be, but if you've watched any of the press relief review relief. I don't release watch reviews, I don't watch anybody's I don't watch anybody's review. I mean, I watch some people's and like, hey, there's people that are like, hey, I'm 50-50 right now. I didn't like A, B, C, and D, the second but I like episode D, is F, where, and G. To give you an idea, the, the Angry Joe guys who do you know video games and uh, you know, gaming-related TV show, like movies, sub reviews, they're pretty usually pretty strict. Uh, you know, given that, some things I would say they're lenient on. They said if you had to rate the first episode, out of the because they got press release, so they were able to see the second episode. They said all the momentum you got from episode one, which they liked, they actually liked the combat scenes. So, all of our gripes that we're giving you on the combat scenes and stuff, they were okay with. Um, so to give you a context, of you know, they're more they're lenient doing, than we are, yeah, they're more lenient than we are. Um, they said that was the highlight, and then everything else in episode two, it was. They said it's like a two out of ten. That if if episode one is like a six or seven out of ten, which is what they rated that, episode two is literally like one or two out of ten. Like there's a it's a snore fest. They hated it, and they're big Halo fans as well. I mean, Homie was in a Halo costume doing the review, um, and it's three of these guys as well. So it's not like just one person is running the show here. But uh, and again, I I'm not taking that. In the sense of, like, I like to, to watch these reviews to see if, you know, people are picking up on the similar things I'm picking up on. Um, I'm, I'm still going in with an open mind. Obviously still going to watch the show because it's Halo related. And I'm hoping that by giving it support, maybe in season two or three or whatever, uh, they get better quality and they, like, take this feedback and run with it. But I'm that's sorry. Right. The what they might be doing. Low. They might be sitting there thinking, okay. What can we do different? Okay, let's say, okay, season one, or these, are, okay, look, we slow, fast pace, whatever, or graphics need to be better. Okay, let's let's put more money into this versus this. Yeah, but they they said they already, I mean, the bulk of their money went into the com that combat scene and the, the CGI stuff. And I'm sorry, but for a Halo show, like that's something I could, 
I would be okay with that quality if it was like someone on YouTube making it. But for a a studio that makes movies, you know, like uh, I expected a lot more. I mean, just quality wise. I mean, the cinematics of the games are. I was just watching them actually, just showing them to uh, my pops. Like those are way better, and they should have done it in that style. If they're gonna, you know, I think the live action stuff is really cool. Uh, but if you can't get the CGI right and be consistent, like in the consistency is the stuff like I, if you check the Discord, it's a 10 second clip of when she picks up the pistol, it's all colored and full filled in on the ground. And then when she goes after she shoots the guy and she tosses it, it's just a wooden cutout. And they made no effort to hide that. I didn't you know, even pick that like up though. Game, Watching it's, it. It's like I in did. Game of Thrones. Uh, and again, I, I know that's a tiny nitpick, but that's laziness. You know, I tell you, what else is you. fucking bullshit, right? And I don't, I don't give a fuck. Split timeline or not, how anybody can be okay with it? Cortana, that's fucking that's stupid. Cheap. That was the that was the clone. Mm. It's mentioned that that's Cortana, and I swear to God, if that's Cortana, that's bullshit. Like split timeline or not, it's, you you can't fuck no, no, that no, up. How is she exactly? Listen, hold on. That is that is not exactly Cortana. What it is is it's clones. It's and they're, she's using her basically like parts of the brain. Yeah. To make Cortana, so like they're basically it's like um it's a flash clone. So like I'm gonna use that organ to replace this organ, and that's what it's and that's the problem. So it's it's a flash clone, so they can use it, but not as in that that exactly is Cortana. Did you see Cortana now, beforehand? The leaks. I did, I saw that she's got a, uh, she's not blue. She's way more she's human. Like, yeah. Yeah, I, I saw, saw that. that. I saw They're going to try I to make some, oh man, I just, I fear for where it's going to go because it's already shit. And I feel fear for where they're going to go. Like, I, I, are they even going to bring in Sergeant Johnson? Because they already made him Captain Keys. <laughs> 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 I don't know, that was incredibly fucking stupid to me. Like, like. Yeah. I agree. Even with Captain America, right? You take Captain America and like he switched it over to what's that dude's name that took over the mantle of Captain America. And so some people initially were like mad, but it's like, okay, that really happened in the comics though. You know, this whole race switching thing. But it's like, come on, dude, like Captain Keys, really? Come on, dude. Like really? That dude would have been perfect for Sergeant Johnson. And Sergeant Johnson's an OG, especially in the lore stuff. He's an OG. Spartan one. He's like that's your second favorite character after Master Chief. I feel like he's a legendary, and then you're just yeah, you you totally blew that. You could have made him a big oh, oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. It's a split timeline. Yeah, I think they just they took too many risks on it. <clears throat> like you have they a franchise have. that's they might have been a like, franchise hey, that is successful for over twenty years. The main fan base and people that enjoy it are all usually in their upper twenties at this point, right? Uh, like the people that grew, truly grew up with it and played all the games, upper you know, 20s, lower 30s. Wanna, yeah, those are the people that are going to want to share that with their friends and families uh, and and uh, kids, you know, that haven't been able to play Halo 1 or 2. You know, a lot of kids now that are gaming the Fortnite, you know, age group essentially, they probably came into Halo at like Halo 3 or Halo Reach, you know, they probably never played OG Halo 2 or 1 or know anything about the books it's an old franchise for them and so i just like you're gonna do your own story your own timeline when you know you have a successful timeline that you can work with it just seems like why would you do that and then again it's just the quality like this is halo some people have been foaming out the mouth for and you're gonna oh i definitely have the quality was dropped foaming at the mouth i was so hurt when um What's that guy that did um, um, District 9 and all them? He stepped away from the movie and all that shit. You know, yeah. Blankenship or whatever. You know, you know who I'm talking about. You know, when they yeah, were I know all. You talked about. Because you know, he did. Um, what the fuck was that damn commercial called? Um, shit. It was a Halo 3 drop. And, anyways, he did the commercials and they looked amazing because he used. Like Peter Jackson shit, the way that, you know, all that stuff is really neat. Um, mm-hmm. But, you know, 
like I said, I mean, I, I'm not, I'm just kind of staying open. I'm not, you know, yeah, there are things I didn't like. There are things that I'm like, wait, you know, that, but again, I'm down, I'm down to clown just to see where it's going. I'm going to yeah, continue it, to fight for it. I'm going to continue to say, hey guys, give it a fucking chance. Let's get through this first. If they, if it does okay and they let it go, if they go to season two and it's still the same shit, then I'm 100% on, on the wagon with everybody. Burn it to the ground. It's a witch. Burn the witch. I'm down for that. But I, I mean, I want to give I, them I, that I, because they've already, they're already done. They're already done with season one. So there's nothing right. they can go back and say, okay, well, let's, let's change this before next week. Let's go back and do this. So the thing I is, okay. I heard spark or greenlit for season two already. As well. Yeah, they got to go, 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 go for it. Which pisses me good. off, kind of. Okay, well, that's good. Because you know what? Okay, then it's shit. Okay, well, you know what? If you continue the shit, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to I'm gonna get off the... I'm going to uproot my flag. And I'm going to step off my mound. And I'm going to be like, okay, y'all bitches can have it now. Eat it. Yeah. But, um, you know... I truly, and again, as a fan, I truly didn't mind the whole chief moving his his mask. Didn't hurt my feelings. I didn't get like, you know, the shakes and the foaming of the mouth. But that some people did, some people didn't. Um, I'm with Zach. I, like, I don't I listen. I'm, I, I'm with Zach. I I don't. I hope they're not gonna make Quan the main. Basically, she's gonna overshadow Chief. That's gonna piss me yeah, off I'm, even more. I'm gonna. I hope I'm, it's I'm like gonna, a Grogu situation where you know you kind of like take her somewhere, drop her off, and say, "All right, I'm moving on." Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm really excited about Soren. I'm really excited about the tradition of a Spartan that defected, and that's what they have like the Soren protocol because that you know that's why they all like mass fucking got together to take Chief on because Soren, which is the the black guy, I can't think of his name. Anyways, you know that's it's a protocol for him because he defected as a Spartan too. Yeah, I had no and problem so with that either. I thought I was like, that's really mm -hmm. neat. You know, they got it on point with the woman from Oni. You know, they're they're a bunch of fucking cunts. Oni is a bunch of fucking cunts. They're basically like the CIA. And I thought that was really neat. Um, I did love the fact that Halsey overrode the Spartan 2's yeah. orders, and they. I love yeah. the fact when that. You know, the one Spartan question, it was like, man, what about, you know, what about friendlies? And that's when the other one's like, if they're against Chief, they're not friendlies. Yeah, that was, was dope. Like, that's fucking roll yeah. tide. I, I like that more moment. of the EOD. I love the EOD. But that's how that, that those, that's how those quips are supposed to be, though. Like, that's, yeah. that, those are like Master Chief type uh, yeah. statements. Yeah. But then what do we get for Master Chief? I like nuts and I bolts. Mean, can you tell me anything? <laughs> like, what? Like, that was so stupid. And microchips, but it's machines Whatever. because they all think they're machines. Um, you know, I loved the, the 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 there were little quid bits, you know, in there. If you you know, like when he when the when the um, the elite went invisible, the OG Halo One invisibility cloak. Yeah, you know, that was, that was that cool. Sound. Even though he looked like that shit, cool. that was pretty cool. I was happy he went invisible, and I had to look and at his ass no more. Is, that's the arbiter. That's yeah, the I heard about that, which would be cool. That's you know, the, yes, you know, bringing in arbor. Yeah. Um, you know, they got the perfect actress for Dr. Halsey. I thought that was that was oh, awesome. They did yeah, a good yeah, job yeah. with Dr. Halsey. Bitching, some people were bitching about um, the British accent versus the English. I'm like, I love it. I think uh, it fits perfectly. Yeah, I don't care about I think it personally. literally fit perfectly. Um, Jacob, what? Well, th yeah, let's see. What is it? Um, what was I going to say? The, um, shit, I got off Got me thrown when you said that threw me off my where I was going. Um, there are you know that's there are some good parts, but there are, when there, when there they are, fuck up, they fuck up things. hard. Oh yeah, when they overshadowed. They you can't. Overshadowed. I mean, the I'm way not gonna I, fight. Was, I view it, I'm like, not gonna you're sitting there the... watching the first episode, and you know, put put past you like the anticipation aspect, right? When you're watching that first episode, were you blown out of the water? Were you like, fuck yeah, dude? Finally got a good Halo that I was asking for. Because I didn't get that feeling. I personally hope... I, I mean, I hope that the rest of the season gets better. Uh, but judge off of what I've heard from the second episode, it's not. But, and if there is greenlit for season two, I really hope they take the criticisms that they're hearing and, and improve on it. But if not, I really hope that they lose the rights to this and it, it goes to a different studio. So that can start working three, on it four, sooner three might than later. Do that. They might say, "Hey, we gave you all this, you know." But at the end of the day, three four three has over overshadowing it all. That's their property. 
they might have given, hey, look, you can make the show, but these are our characters. We have to we have to green light some things. I don't know. We have to I agree don't know with if this. they get that kind of creative. Uh... If they have that kind of control, well, that's it. their characters. Uh, they have to because they have a CG project red and did you have Witcher? Yeah, um, I agree with that. Um, well, like I said there are things that I didn't like, you know. The and if they take this I mean, covenant chick, right, that was raised by oh, the that's covenant, right, that's right, where I was gonna go with that. If they, if they make her like the main bad person, I'm gonna fucking freak out. Like, no, but that would, oh, I love no. the fact they called her, they called her the chosen one because reclaimer, you know, the whole reclaimer. I think that's why, yeah, any fucking human can be reclaimer now. Well, that's chief the, was supposed to be the only one. Reclaimers. No, no, humanity is the reclaimers. So, what made chief so now, special the then, woman, huh? The woman, oh, the woman upgraded, she got him, tits. So <laughs> she got tits. Hmm? I thought chief um, was supposed to be the chosen one. I think chief. I, right. Yeah, because the librarian See? upgraded him. No, even before no, that. Did, no, because the reclaimer. They keep talking about reclaimer, and that he was like the first human to come in contact with the uh, the didact when they started calling him reclaimer and shit. He was supposed to be the one. Now it's like anybody can be the reclaimer as long as they're human. Chief was supposed to be that special one. Now that it's like the human, and as I just have a really strong feeling. Well, look at Johnson. It, Johnson started the. Um, Johnson wasn't anything, in in in, in uh, Halo Three, and the thing is, he still was made to to activate. Remember when they smashed his hand, on uh, and he acted. It was he was made to activate the um, the the Halo or the portal or whatever. That's just it. I mean, it's not a. And that was at the end of Halo, th and that was in Halo Three. Was it Halo Three? Yeah. So John, yeah, because that's what... so that was already thrown in there. It's just talking about reclaimer. I think that's just the mantle of responsibility is the reclaimers. Humanity itself are the reclaimers. They were the ones that were chosen for th for the mantle of responsibility. No other race. Um, I do love now. The thing is that chick with the um. The Covenant, you know, she kind of was a little hesitant, you know, even though she's holding on to that book and he was like, you might want to put that down and stuff, but you can, I, I get that weird feeling of she still has like some resent, like she doesn't, she knows that that's her people. She's been raised or whatever. And I'm like, okay, you know, let's see where this goes. I do wish they would have changed the, uh, the honor guards, you know, the, obviously, you know, the Halo 2, Halo 3. And all the ones you you when you get into the high charity and stuff, you see them with their elite looking yellow and gold and red, you know, armors and shit. I thought that was yeah. I was like, where are the fucks are the elites, the the guard the the guards uh, armors? Um, they missed they left that out. But um, I wanted to see that? some grunts. The U, yeah, the Uguay or whatever, the Ugu, yeah. Um, grunts, yeah. Yeah, see but the they have a deeds. name. Well, they're grunts to me. They're grunts, they're grunts. They have a name, like the Uguay, the Ugu, the Ugogus, whatever, anyways. But no, I mean, I'm going to defend the first episode in some parts, and then I'm going to agree with you all in That's other just... parts. I guess, I mean, was it a 10 out of 10... Game of Thrones. Oh, yeah. There's no with way the, you with, could say with yeah. the with the red wedding. Oh, absolutely not. Yeah, everything I'm seeing about the reclaimer is a is a single individual. And why? How did Johnson activate? He's Johnson, bro. He's cool. Yeah. But now he's Master Keys. Pretty I actually believe Sergeant, not, yeah, I think Johnson. Keys, I, mean. I think I think Johnson was a Spartan one. If I'm not, he mistaken. was. Yes. Yeah, he's a Spartan. Yeah. Yeah, he's a Spartan. Man. They could have done anything with Mindic and Bias and all them. Like, there's so much shit they could have fucking touched on, you know? The Halo universe is massive. Why change things? You could just touch different things that the games didn't do and keep everything yeah. the fucking same. You didn't have to totally then, change everything. I truly would have rather them start off with them taking them as kids 
and training the Spartans. Yeah. See, there was there was there was a movie about that though. You know, but it was like uh, animated and stuff like that. Yeah, but yeah, it, it's so yeah, old and it's like not a big thing and it's not yeah, live no, action. They, reach. Yeah, no, they could have done so much yeah. different things, but yet they changed the just to pick this one section, uh, this random. I think it was twenty five fifty two. They put it in, and it's just totally something fucking. You could have done the in you know the insurrection and stuff like that. That's okay. That's cool, right? You could have Chief going with with Silver Team because I'm sure he did it. Like I mentioned before, especially before he gets Cortana. Who knows if everything that fucking he, Chief did? He then ran, he ran mostly with Blue Team. That was right, his, but he. That was it's not to say he couldn't run with other groups like you know what i'm saying right but why yeah, teams, change yeah. all those other things you made chiefs sound like shit i don't give a fuck how he looked really honestly my opinion the fact the that he took okay. his helmet off and, and while somebody has a gun pointed at him would never ever ever fucking happen right and then the covenant ch or the covenant chick like there's just too many other stupid things that they put out right and they, they could have touched on so many different other things instead of just picking this and then fucking it all up and changing shit up for I don't want to say, you know, Hollywood agenda and stuff like that, because that's just getting to a different subject. But the fact is that you you didn't have to do that S split timeline or not. That's why I'm so bothered by the fucking split timeline. Me personally is because it's so massive. They could have done so many different things that the books or games didn't do, but they could have kept it in the same fucking timeline. They didn't have to switch this timeline shit up. And I've already seen some like uh, like a clip I don't know, it was just like, it was like a trailer thing or some shit like that. Because I didn't, I know I sent you the Angry Joe thing, right? But I didn't go to the spoiler yeah. section. I stayed away from all spoilers. And um, just knowing that the whole video game, they didn't, they didn't, they ignored the video games thing was like the only thing that I really heard. And so like, I just had to go, I was going into it like, okay, this is probably going to suck. But I didn't think it was going to fucking suck that much. But I seen a little thing about like this covenant chick having like i don't know i really feel like she's going to be the bad guy i honestly feel like she's going to be the bad guy i do know i've seen the spoilers you know when they were showing the trailers and stuff she has some type of control or she runs with the um the hunters but what's the the name of the creatures that the hunters are god those like hunters are probably going to look like dog shit but no 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 they're not actual like finish that sentence form, it's it's the worm it's the worm form is what i'm saying the worm form of the sentence. hunters yeah does she have powers Not that i'm aware of i think she was just walking with they were like in that scene that i saw on the tra on the trailers she's walking through some sort of like area lab and they were all thing? going around yeah lab. yeah lab. that's the one i seen yeah going around her and they were like attacking and shit. And she's just walking. So I don't think she's over control them. I think she's just going with. I think she's just entering that area while they're killing shit and they're not messing with her. I fucking hate it, man. Yeah, I'm. I'm going in with an open mind, but I will nitpick because it's Halo. And I fucking love Halo. It's not some BT. It's not a BTV it. series or a B movie. You know, it's something I'm passionate about, something I care about, and I, I hated to be done right. I because I, I wanted. I hated. I wanted. I, I hated. I hated Halo Sorry. Five. I don't know. I hated Halo Five. I thought it was a god awful game. I think we were lied to. I think the story made zero sense whatsoever, and all the publicity and all the marketing and advertising about Chief going rogue. And the truth, you know, hunt the truth and all that shit that was like, man, Chief's going to go fucking rogue and he's going to be the eat and he's going to be the enemy and all this shit, you know. And then, of course, Halo 5 drops and you're like, what the fuck is this? I think that's a lot of it that they're using with that is, hey, you know, we've got this that we've never really used with Chief truly going like fucking AWOL. And I so didn't mind they're trying it too to much. I didn't mind I Halo didn't. 5 story. Because I, I, it was I mostly like it. he was chasing Cortana. Yeah, and they but were like, "No, nah, fuck that," and he was no like, "No, nah, fuck you." And then they're like, "Oh, hey, we well, need somebody to go get him." I did because she's like degrading and kind of going crazy. That's why. That's why you're trying to get her back the thing to Halsey. Is, I yeah. made my peace when she died at four, and I was like, "Okay." And then she comes back and is like, "Hey, I'm actually alive," 
and I have been chosen by these, and I'm going to be the one that takes the responsibility, not the humanity, but the machines and the AIs, or That's, intelligence. That, how is that a bad thing? I'm like, thing? what? And you can kind it of see that they, they, they can the, the AI nothing. can see flaws in human because humans are just we're naturally flawed. But that's the thing. You have to be flawed. You can't have logic. I mean, like there has to be like But then you're okay AI with Halo flawed. Infinite is like here, we're gonna knock out Chief, we're gonna totally know. skip the the climax of that. I'm not even gonna get into it, but the, the way they did the, the infinite was fucking retarded. I hated that oh, shit. No, like you didn't I even get to infinite. see the, the the battle, this whole thing that you built up with like four and five, and you're just not even gonna see it. You're not even gonna see the ending of it and everything that happened. No, he we're just gonna leave little breadcrumbs because a fucking ship. Yeah, that's not the first time he's gotten his ass kicked. We went over this. No, but the, that's the first time we really saw him get the shit kicked out of him. Oh, and they probably did that the because they're like, out. okay, we can't do all this other stuff. You know, we just got to cut to the chase. So we're going to have this dude knock out Chief, right? And then we can do all and that. Then and then cut. being so hesitant to become a partner and friend with the other AI unit, that was really neat because he's been already hurt. He's already been like, hey, I can't do this. That That's a, this is a whole different humanity. subject, though. You know, this, oh, yeah. back to the show. It's it's fucking garbage. I would try to red herring. I'm sorry. I wouldn't try to red herring and throw something out. So, my bad. I was just kind of th something that was on my mind. Yeah. So show. Oh man. Show has potential. No. It did not. It did not execute. A hundred percent. It didn't execute. Fifty percent. But. I want to see where it goes. The the Halo lore is just so big, right? And you've only it got what four episodes there's in this season, so right? Much. No, there's uh, nine. What there's if, nine. If it's ninety million, is ten million per episode? Is what I heard. So I think it's like nine episodes. Is what I heard. I'm, I was hearing something about uh, it ended up being like two hundred mil. Let's see, Halo. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna spray you. I'm gonna spray the fuck out of you. Get down. Sorry. I yell at my cat. We'll run nine episodes, okay. okay. Yeah. According to Google, it'll be nine episodes. Yeah. And I thought the budget was 90 mil. I did hear something about 200 mil. Somebody was telling me about. But everything that I've kind of heard, everybody's like, hey, that's it's 90 mil, 10 million per episode. So there's just so much, like, I get it, it's a different timeline, but even if you go to a different timeline, which is fucking stupid, even if you go to a different timeline, there's just too much to cover in, in, in nine episodes. Like, there's going to be so much that they're going to miss and fuck up. And I just feel like, uh, like it's just, it's not going to be well received at all. Like, I hope they don't do any more than, than two seasons. And it's just I wanted to go to even though the writers for them to come back Thrones, from this. I don't know. Um, the well, see, that's what I love. They, they, they brought awful, back o but... well, they brought back OG Halo writers for Halo Infinite. Well, OG that's Halo OG Infinite. Halo that's one. that's the OG timeline. No, We're saying, talking about this back, other timeline. They might have learned, you know, like three four three learned. Hey, look, four was good. We I liked four. That was me. Everybody's a little different, but I actually like four. Uh, five was like, hey, we had somebody, you know, somebody completely different writing this. Uh, we're going to bring back the OG writer. Okay, cool. What's that have to do with this shit, shit timeline or silver timeline? No, if because you're talking about, I hope it doesn't go past one, you know, see, first season or two seasons. What if they bring back, um, oh shit, hold on, if they bring more people, more people is not going to make it better. Better, pe better writers, I guess you could say. I, I feel like it's, it's just yeah. too far gone. They would have to like. There's no way they're too far gone. In my, like, I already There's hate no it. Way. Like, it's too far gone. Like, are they gonna do? Yeah. Are they gonna show Sergeant Johnson? Are they gonna? I have a feeling they're gonna, you know, start focusing on this new girl, and then they're also gonna focus on these flashbacks that Master Chief is having from touching this fucking random device, Forerunner Architect, or whatever it is. I'm surprised they even said it was Forerunner. It's his, his, it's his, it's his memories, and that was another thing. They okay, they suppressed his memories. Yeah. So. They're not. They're just gonna. They're gonna focus on shit that is not Halo. 
They're just they're just gonna go off in random shit and not even focus on what what makes Halo Halo. They're not gonna focus on it. They're gonna have some different stupid fucking focus on this chick and probably her upcoming and being a badass or something. And then the, I don't even know what the fucking Covenant are gonna do. And I gotta admit though, one of the other good things, right? Because like I said, there were some good things, right? The prophets actually didn't look that bad to me. Yeah, prophet didn't seem too bad. But the elites looked awful. The fuck? Oh them. my you god. Tell. They you were way tell. too bulk. They were like, uh, if you mix like an elite had sex with a lizard that had sex with a brute. Yeah. That's what they, they look thick. so horrible. They need to be thinner, normally, like, taller, skinnier, like yeah. more defined. Like you look at Arbiter well, the in the CGI game. The needs to be better too. Though, it's like, so terrible. Like, you could definitely tell they were just popping out. Like, there was the no, gun sounded like shit no, too, in my opinion. The DMR was automatic. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I wonder if somebody else noticed that. Like, oh man. And it was kind of stupid how, like, how is the insurrectionist weapons not going to do a fucking thing, but Master Chief can, like, just shoot a couple pistol shots and kill one? Like, what? What kind, yeah. of, what kind of weapons do these insurrectionists have? These poor people. You know, I thought or it was kind of cool. Or pick up the same weapons that they're using, and they then it them. just suddenly works for him. Yeah. I hate inconsistencies. Yeah. And, and I thought it was, was cool the they did show a lot of blood. As fuck. The, yeah, I thought that so and again, I, I like pros and cons, right? Like I'm not right. trying to shit on it. I'm obviously I'm upset because it's not to the, to my standards for what I was expecting of a, a show in 2022. But I will say they waste no time being brutal. Like the massacring of the kids, I did not think that was going to happen. I thought right. they were going to get saved last second. Um, the when you're getting shot at, you know, limbs are being dismembered, and it's just it's brutal. That was dope. But to that effect, at the end of that fight scene, when she's looking at her dad, and you know he's like crawling to her, and then the elite kills him. It's like. The rest of the fighting had stopped by that point. Master Chief is just chilling. All the other people are just chilling. And they have radar that's not even really working in the helmet. <laughs> but they have it. You know, they have all this other superhuman senses and stuff for the way this fight's going. One elite is left and gets to kill on in the most dramatic way possible. And the fight has already ended. I'm like, come on. Like, that was so cheesy. Like, we saw that coming. You know, like, that is, uh, shouldn't have happened like that. I'm sorry. That, that was corny. I didn't think that was portrayed very well. And it, like, Master Chief just happens to, like, slowly walk around the corner and look over as it's happening. It's like, homie, you have radar in your visor, which again doesn't work. <laughs> um, like, it's. I wanted to go to a different studio per se. I feel like HBO could have done a way, much better job. I'd wait another five years if they just stopped it this second and gave HBO the rights. And if the, the Spartans were just standing there, they looked great, right? The armor didn't yeah, look... Yeah, yeah, when they're standing still, they look good. Yeah. But then when they were moving, it kind of looked like I was watching like an old Power Rangers, you know, like... <laughs> TV show. What was it when they were beating up back in the so day? The putties or some shit? the suits be CG or be practical? Because that's where they went. Was a more pra like an actual like a suit that they actually wore. Like yeah, I didn't mind the suits at all. That, versus I didn't, an actual. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. That's what they used was an actual practical suit. So what it sounds like is you'd rather have a CG suit. Because uh, of how they well, look. No, the suits were okay. I, I think the camera angles could have helped that a little bit more. And like the movement too. Like a lot of the movement was super choreographed and you could tell like it was like go from stand still, arm straight out, grab. You know, like it was it was really weird stuff. And it was it, choreographed again, really kind bad. of inconsistent. Yeah. Uh the, the choreograph exactly what you said. I think that was what failed it. Like and there's moments in the movement that is inconsistent. Like the final hit that Master Chief does where he does that leaping knee to the face on the elite. He's super floaty in that moment. And they make the effort to slow it down and show him flying, soaring through the air and one motion with his knee out and it just connects, you know, and it's, he doesn't really move out of that animation. 
until he lands. And it's all just super buttery and smooth and floaty. But then there's a scene immediately like before that where he's like jumping off of a truck and it's just like suction cup to the ground. Like the movement looks super unnatural. And, and so therefore the pacing for the whole combat and the movement didn't look right. Cause that, it just like, that was, that was clearly CGI where he jumped and it was like a brick landing, you know? And then there was the moment where he's clearly on wires doing Michael Jordan fucking dunk you know, with his knee in the dude's face. And it's just, like, inconsistent. And I, I think for anyone that's a fan of combat, you know, you could pick up on those movements. Like, it's like when we're playing For Honor, you know, like, we knew immediately when we were getting those five frames, you know, like, going from our 60 to five. Like, you picked up on that shit real quick. Is that things just didn't feel right, didn't look right. That's kind of what I felt, like, watching that combat scene. Like, there's some things that, the way they shot the camera angle made it look really bad. And, and at least did not look like it was a 10 million budget per episode type of scene. Because I've seen better movement in a YouTube vids. <laughs> oh, or just else, the game cinematics. I want to point out that they did uh, do correct, right? So when the um, chief tell like that little girl has got the gun pointed at Master Chief, right? And he's like, this is, you know... Uh, Mjolnir, you know, or Mark Six or whatever, uh, armor. And I was like, is it really already six? You know? And then, uh, I actually just looked it up and they actually got that right. And it was, they did 2552, and that's when that version of, uh, Mjolnir armor actually released was that year. So I, I was happy they actually got that right. Cause I was like, wow, really? Six? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't think they get, yeah, it's my yeah. Damn, that's I mean, so they did get little yeah. things right, but Jesus fucking Christ, man, they could have done so much better. Overall, I rate it like man. I wanna say a three out of ten. But that's exactly what I was saying. Three out of ten. It, it, they could have done so much better, man. They did not like uh, it automatically is like five out of ten just for doing a split timeline and then seeing how bad they fucked everything up was like a four out of ten and then now the way it looked it's another point deducted three out of ten <laughs> so yeah man but i'm, I'm with you guys a i'm solid a... i'm gonna stay it at a solid five okay i respect you know, that I, I thought you were gonna I go higher than that, that to be honest no. honestly I, no. the way you've been defending it I yeah feel like you're at an eight out of ten yeah like, oh no! I, I feel like you could watch the best TV show of your life. <laughs> Sorry, Turtle. I'm, I agree with Muffins. I thought you were gonna go no, way no, higher. That's what I said. So I feel like, no, no. yeah, I'm just defending the fact that. that what didn't you like? A season. I told you what I didn't like. I told you there was things that I did not like, but overall, I just sat back and didn't wasn't very critical. But your Halo well, juice is your Halo lore nut in you. We've had some right. deep ass conversations about this. That shit was like the the way you were describing it to me when I texted because you I originally, already, you seemed like no, no, you were really I hyped. To, I'm, and I'm still hyped. I don't mind the split timeline. That is the biggest key with me. And that's what's not hurting my soul is the split timeline. Because again, I'm a, I'm aware of other split timelines that I have enjoyed, and so I when mean, again, to... I'm a true, and I'm a true fan when it comes to, um, I'm a true fan when it comes to, um, you know, comic books and characters and how people create and and stuff like that. But oh, sorry, I gotta kill this roach. Give me a second, and I'll keep that. And it's like if they just if they would have just kept Ooh, in the nice. same era, the same timeline, like I mentioned before, they could have done anything else, right? At any point, would have been fine. And so instead, nice. you piss off the true hardcore Halo but, fans, no, and they make it for people who don't know shit you, about you're, Halo. You're pissing off the you're pissing off the true the the hardcore yeah. Halo fans that don't uh, that they're like I don't want to split timeline, and that's fine. You don't if you don't want that. You don't want that. And I'm not going to change your mind about that. That's why I'm saying I don't mind the split timeline because I understand the lore. I understand that there are, I understand all the aspects and what things that they've used, but I don't get out of here, bitch. 
That's what I'm saying. Get out of here, with bitch, with that fucking split timeline. No. <laughs> oh, I thought we were on the same page there for a second. But it's like you—you you could have made it with, the, you know, like I said, they could have stayed in the same timeline, chose any other section to do to like the movies and books and didn't do right. But you switched it up, so you pissed off the hardcore Halo nuts, right? And so instead, you could have just made it. In the original timeline, made those guys happy, those people happy, and the people who don't know shit about Halo wouldn't have cared either way. But instead, you pissed off half of your crowd. Instead of you just could have stayed in the original the and you could have made everybody happy. You, you pissed off the ones that don't want to split timeline. And that's the way it's it's the story. A lot of most, and like I said, most people are not happy with how this with the story. proceeds. With the yeah. story. Yeah, and that's story what and the quality and though. Most most people. Are I could get past like, the quality if you the just would have stuck reviews. original timeline. I couldn't. Have. But why? I mean, maybe, but why, but but why talk about the same awesome. story that you have written? That that's what I'm saying. Books, they could have touched anything else that the games other, and books made, didn't do. Made, like, there's so much other things that happened games. that they. Yeah, you've but made six games on the. Yeah, same but not everyone's going to be playing those games. It just that was my whole reasoning behind the statement I said. Those games have been out for over 20 years. They plus came out years. very fast, and they were like, hey, this is a silver uh, timeline. This is the, They did not come out and say, oh, this is off of the Fall of Reach book or First Contact book or any of these been. other books. That, that's why I'm saying they, they didn't even have to do that. Thing. They didn't even why? have to do why? that. They could have chose something else. They could have chose, yeah. you know, some some shit that happened in between the books or in between the games and stuff like that. But you switched thing, you switched up key aspects of the fucking story <clears throat> of that timeline, and you could have chose anything else. You didn't have to do books or movies. You could have chose something in between. You could have chose and something if that were happened. Going to do that, if they're going to continue, like if if that was their thought, they should have gone all in with it. I mean, like I should have been to the point where it blew people out of the water if they're going to make a whole different thing but again i know i'm stuck on quality personally because the alternate timeline like i could live with that if what i'm watching is like you know visually pleasing but and it wasn't visually pleasing um but <sighs> they should have gone all in and, and you it's just it's such a big gamble you had 20 plus years of content at your fingertips that you could have done anything with you know, there's a lot of different pockets. Um, and again, you're trying to make this as a foundation. So you could have started off, you know, covering a, a lot of aspects that, you know, you're not playing through in the Halo games. And I don't I don't agree with, well, you have all these games if you want those stories, so play the games. Well, you know, I'm not going to get my parents to play those games, but my parents, like Master Chief, think he's a cool character, and they have a somewhat idea of what the overall story is in the halo series but they're not going to sit there with the controller playing it you know uh but when i said hey there's a halo tv series coming out they're ecstatic for it now they they were super disappointed with that first episode and they're not they don't you know they're not big fans of it you know they never played the games so they've just seen clips from what i've shown them you know so it was a big gamble doing that and i think it was a gamble that didn't work or isn't going to work because you've you, they fucked up the fundamentals and chief being the fundamental i mean that that chief is not chief he's not my president <laughs> hashtag not my president yeah so yeah i like, yeah could have done anything else but they didn't mm -hmm. and it's it's not that uh, gamers rely on those storylines either like Arcane released, which is a League of Legends story, and they did their own thing completely. But that is probably one of the best like animations to be released in the past like ten years. Like everyone loves that show, uh, even people that have no idea what the games are all about or, or the game is all about, because they did such a good job creating the world and invested a lot of money in the CGI and stuff. Like it has its own art form that everyone really seems to like. Uh, the music was on point. You know, the action scenes are absolutely amazing. Uh, Witcher was, I would say, is a close second to that. Like, it was received rather well, and they did their own thing. But you could tell they put a lot of money in the, the spell effects and the armors uh, and the worlds. Halo has done zero of that. Like, they have a pretty cool Master Chief costume that looks like all the other Master Chief costumes that I've seen people wear to Halloween and stuff. 
Uh, but they got his voice completely wrong. They got his one-liners completely wrong. They broke the fundamental rule. They took his helmet off. I mean, he's supposed to be this faceless dude that you as a player is supposed to... Like, that's what made it work for so long. That's why they teased it so many times ever since Halo 1. And I get Halo 4, you know, legendary ending, you know, this special segment that they showed his face, but you know that that's not normal Halo. That, you know, and that's, there's probably a reason why it was a legendary edition. Uh, so it's, I think they no, just it, broke it too was, many rules. No, no, it was that. the legendary ending. So if you played the legendary... Legendary ending. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you played the, yeah, the difficulty. Right. So it's not, it wasn't the legendary edition. But anyways, continue on. Sorry. I'm trying to... No, um, it's just that's my point. Group. It's just they, they kind of dropped the ball with those key fundamental things. Like, I just felt like I was watching an old Power Rangers quality fight scene. It was just, it wasn't that good. Um, and then the rest is, I think the story could develop and be good. Um, but the CGI that they've shown so far is not, is not that great. Um, and I'm all fine for like more dialogue and stuff like that, getting into the deep and gritty of like the mental aspects of it. Um, I don't really mind the whole alternate, the, the whole different timeline, but Percy just feels like what they did is here's a franchise that everyone knows and wants. We are a service that has none of that, really. Um, let's make our own Mandalorian. And let, but let's throw out all the shit that people love about Halo and let's just do our own thing. And I think that's just a risky move. Because they know people are going to watch it because it's Halo. But I just don't think they understand the audience for it. I got a question real quick. Resident Evil, right? You take Resident Evil. Were you guys okay with the Mila Jankovic franchise? I don't yeah, know really. uh, enough. Why, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Turtle, why not? Resident the Evil. first the first two, yeah, I like the movies. But they got weird quick. When she started having powers. But it's an alternate and... timeline. I'm just telling you, that. that's just me. <laughs> Okay. You asked me a question. <laughs> you asked me a question. <laughs> like, I told you. I Dude, it's that, one, that like... The first one really touched it. The first one really touched really pretty good to me. I felt really good and confident. Resident Evil 1. 2, I loved them bringing in... Uh, what was that fucking character's name? Um, uh, the Not the rival. Um, what the... Your, when you have your... Nemesis? Nemesis, there it is. Thank you, sir. Um, they made him look like really shit. Cool. He was in a fucking suit. But yeah, I'm also yeah, looking at the... Also... Anyways, I'm not... I, again, I like the story. I thought it was really cool. Hey, look, I'm, you know, okay. I can, I'm down to get... But now afterwards, like with, when, when Whisker come in... and Wesker. And all, what, my bad, Wesker. I'm sorry, my... my... I'm, a, I'm a Resident Evil guy, too. Yeah, no, you're good. I just, I was like, man, when she started having powers, and I was like, eh, okay, you know, I'm, I'm out. Like, I'm dipping. Yeah, um, it's fucking trash. It the new Resident Evil it. is trash as well. I never watched. I never watched it. I didn't. It's I didn't trash. It okay. I heard that they try to make two storylines and then shove it into like one. Yeah, movie. they pretty much try to take like one and two and shove them together. It was trash. Yeah, that's what I was reading in the reviews. Is this about a watch the other night? But then, uh, because they also, uh, I don't know, it bugs me comics. when people switch characters up. They made they got characters that look fucking nothing like the characters in the game. Like nothing like it. Mm. Stupid. I mean, Chris Redfield. Yeah, he. he I, I was okay with that, but Claire Redfield and Leon look nothing like their their parts, and they're not anything like their characteristics, like in the games either. But you know, it's fucking trash, man. Just Resident Evil uh, was not as much lore, so I feel like they, ha they, you know, if you're gonna make it, you know, they said they were gonna make it more like the games. They did do it more like the games, but it was still just fucking trash. I don't know. I just I hate when they when people switch things up like that. It's it annoys the shit out of me. I also hate when like mo like show or movie franchises would make like one, two, three, and they switch the actors up every fucking time. That shit bugs the living fuck out of me. Like just keep the same a lot people. Of actors don't want to. Well, they don't want. Uh, sometimes actors don't want to come back. 
Well, then don't like then Jim do. Carrey. Like Jim, well, Jim Carrey doesn't like doing sequels, but lately he has been. Like the only other sequel Sonic. movies I've ever known him to play in was Sonic, Ace Ventura. Uh, that was really it. Yeah, it was, it's, it's kind of interesting though. Like, like Muffins, when it comes to the Halo thing, it's like he's okay. He can get past the whole split timeline thing, but it's just the quality was fucking garbage. You know, mine's like a little bit opposite. Like the quality really does bug me, but I can kind of get past it. But your lore fucking blows. And then Turtle, on the other hand, is like, I'll give it a shot. It's it's okay, <laughs> you know. If this is all it, like, if this is the only Halo season you'll ever get, this is it. Would you be satisfied? Fuck no. He's, I uh, haven't hey, even Turtle? given it a fucking season yet. I That's know, the but thing. We're based basing off of your one every... episode. Based we could have another conversation okay. after the, the next episode. Halo... Yeah, this is the only Halo episode you're ever going to get. Are you you are okay that this is what you got? For the 20 plus years of the hype. I never No, I told you I didn't I didn't again, I gave it a 5 out of 10. That's I mean, I'm gonna stick to my guns with that. I like, gave it my 5 out of 10. That forward onto Don was pretty was pretty damn good. I'm not gonna lie. I thought they were gonna continue yeah, with it. Slow as fuck. It was still, slow, I thought it was good. It was still like love, more was really good. The, uh, the the quality was really good. They had they got Master all, Chief right. They got Master Chief right. They got all the different Covenant. Like they did a, a, an amazing job. You know, they even with the the older Captain um, God, what was his Lasky. You know, they yeah, even the older version of him looked really good. Every you know, if they would have made him a ginger, I'd been a little upset. <laughs> I would have been a little upset. <laughs> you know, I would have been, like that's not cool. But yeah, man. No, I feel what you mean. I uh, forward and it just looked better. It was, it was and it was it a was one, one, one and done thing. And I, I wish they would have kept mm -hmm. going, but no, they didn't. Yeah, I don't know why they did that. That shit was was ten I, times, hundred times better than this. This is if it granted we have not seen the rest of the season, but this is the uh, this is the first episode. This is supposed to be what blows the doors off of the season. And this, and they started and, in a very odd spot. A very odd spot. I mean, and I can understand like maybe why they would start it in that kind of way, but again, my biggest gripe is the quality because I can I can get adjusted to any story as long as you know the characters are good, right? Um, but I just I thought the quality was half-assed, and clearly it was because there's a shit ton of clips now coming out from that fight scene where things were half-assed. Uh, I swear to God, if they don't show the Sergeant people. Johnson, I'm going to be very fucking mad. Yeah, that'd be fucked up. I feel like they're going to make the rings triangles. <laughs> yeah. Now, you're, I hope now you're just being funny. Now you're just being funny. <laughs> they made me mad. <laughs> <laughs> fucking the the, the, the fucking uh, flood the little little dudes are gonna make look like little marshmallows or pieces of popcorn with their CGI. Those sound pretty good. Popcorn does sound good. Oh. Angel had some yeah, cheddar should. jalapeno popcorn recently, bro. I'm still Ooh, thinking about yeah. that. Sounded fucking. I just need delicious. to put some toothpicks in it, and boom, I got the flood. <laughs> Actually, that's about what the flood looks like. Yeah, yeah like popcorn. No. Yeah. <laughs> I, just... hope, I hope we, you know, this, the episodes get better, right? Um, I'm okay yeah. with like a long, drawn out like episode where there's not a whole lot of combat. You know, uh, I'm not saying the quality overall was terrible. I thought the part with like the pelicans coming in. Uh, Hell, and, even and that, when they like, the graphics of that scene was good. It looked good when they all got everybody to assemble to take on with Chief Landing. I think that yeah. looked great. What, what was seeing that, the uh... Mac, seeing, seeing the seeing the Mac gun kick up and get, and he's like knocking yeah. out of the sky, and they fucking they, there were there were glimpses. Now that's what I'm saying. I mean, again, I'm sticking to my guns. The five out of ten. High charity I'm, looked I really good. That. Like the outside high of high charity looked good. Seeing yeah, seeing the uh, um, the forerunner ship in the background. That 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 was a awesome shot i thought that was good too yeah i mean like I but said, halo's combat though halo's all about its combat well, well they, they, they're, they're all about, about lore too and i want to point out one more thing real quick with the lore that they did i was happy that they did touch on was the whole cutting funding of dr halsey for the spartan program because that was that's actually accurate 
Like, they were not big fans of Dr. Halsey doing this whole Spartan program thing. So I was happy that they did touch on that. Yeah. That was, that was something pretty cool, too. But, uh, yeah. So overall, I think on average, probably, what, a 4 out of 10 between Turtles 5 and Again. R3s? Again, I'm giving my yeah. 5. I'm stick to my guns at 5. I, I'm, I wasn't, I don't yeah, think, they, I, I don't think it should ratings. be, fit, I, don't, I don't think it should be uh, at all six, seven, eight, nine. obviously no. But 5, like I said, major, there were major flaws, you know, honestly didn't look, I mean, I, I watched the clip that you sent me with the whole uh, plasma, plasma gun and looking like a, honestly, when I first saw that, I was like, that's just dirt on the fucking, off the ground, the desert. But again, I can see where people are like, slow it down. Look at this, but it was such a yeah, fast. Yeah, because when she picks, when she no, picks but, but it, it up, so it's fast. clean. It was clean, but in my brain, yeah. I was like, "Oh, no big deal." Like, and that was yeah. When I first watched that, I didn't really down. notice either. I didn't again, see it that's either. something slow. It felt so. Like, here's the thing: it felt off to me when I first watched it, wow. and that's why when I saw the clip on YouTube, I watched the clip and like, oh, yeah, that's why. That's why I felt off about it. Same thing with like Master Chief throwing the gun on the ground. The gun he threw in the dirt is CGI as well. And like it just didn't look right for like how when you throw something on the ground, it's not just gonna you know immediately just clump and stay there, you know, like it just it felt weird. There's it's, it's small things like that. That's when I say quality, that's why I'm getting it. It's the small details that they half asked, yeah. and that's why I'm upset, and that's why it's, it's such a low rating for me. Uh, I and, fucking and hate Chief with a premiere episode. <laughs> Quality is not going to get better at the end of the season. You know, no, Chief's crazy. voice is going to remain shit the whole time. Exactly, and I can't. Every time he spoke, I said, "Shut the fuck up!" Like literally out loud. His characteristics so are horrible upset. as well. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't agree with who they did at Chief, and it would have been easy to solve that problem. Keep the helmet on, no face reveal, voiceover. Doesn't even have to be the dude who does it. There's plenty of people out there that could do a Master Chief impression. Oh no, impression. no, 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 no! If you're gonna if you're gonna bitch about the voice, then you're gonna want the original Steve Downs. Don't be well, going yeah, like, oh, that could be anybody. I would want that, but if they can't get that, they shouldn't have then, opted for what they did. There's way they better they options. Got. Well, yeah, they got what they got because they wanted a face, not because they wanted a voice. Even then, they could have done it to like, oh, you can show his face, just don't have him talk while his helmet's off. Don't have, exactly. I'm interested to see how uh, they do it. I'm going to be so pissed. I just know the show is going to piss me off even more. But show what? First episode, that's what we think. And um, three, yeah, two out of Just so you guys know, I was recording this whole thing, so it's going up on YouTube. Is it really? No, is it? Yep. I was not even prepared for this. That's not I know. Yeah. That's, nope. not that, too, that, right? that's, that's good quality right there. That's genuine fucking reactions about talking about the first episode. <laughs> That's dope. Uh, I feel abused. <laughs> I did not consent I to this. <laughs> I didn't. At uh, all. Yeah, I like no I said, idea. I'm sticking to my guns to a solid 5 out of 10. And I'm, uh, honestly, and I'm looking forward, you. even if the next episode doesn't have any action, seeing where the story goes. Seeing yes. maybe hopefully they'll bring Soren in. And seeing, like, why did he defect? I mean, again, I'm okay with not every fucking episode having a $100 million fucking budget of, of, of action. Give me, a, give me a little story. Because Halo had a great story. It did. Absolutely. Keyword. Yeah, had. If it's a good story. If Has. it's a good story, I, I'll, be, <laughs> I'll finish watching the season. I'm, I would have watched it either way. It's Halo, you know, like... It'd, it'd be stupid not to, right? But would you guys want to do another conversation after the next episode? Absolutely. Yeah, sure. I'm fine with it. And I'm gonna rewatch it. I said I've only watched it once. Yeah, I've me not too. watched it several times, and I'm gonna sit down and rewatch episode one again before I watch episode two. And yeah, we'll not, go. From it's there. not worth it for me. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, <laughs> you guys are funny. <laughs> hey. But again. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. I'm gonna. That's our initial thoughts. Overall, four out of ten. You know, everyone's got different aspects of what they liked, what they didn't like, and uh, we'll do another one when episode two drops.